Alright guys, we're back for another video and as you can see in the title, we are talking about PEDs today. So this is PED talk episode number one. Uh, I have been getting asked a lot to talk about PEDs, PED protocols, PED side effects, my own personal experience with PEDs on my YouTube channel. Uh, something I've been hesitant about for obvious reasons, but I've decided to start talking a little bit more about it because again, this channel is all about spreading the knowledge to you guys. And, um, you know, PEDs are a significant part of bodybuilding and it is what it is it's part of the sport. And I think that the more people we have to talk about it, uh, that actually have experience with it and have real education behind it, uh, the better, because then we can just help, you know, more people make their own decisions responsibly. Um, and that's what it's all about, right? It's all about helping each other. We have a very small community, uh, you know, this bodybuilding community is, you know, pretty niche group. Uh, so, you know, the more we can help each other, the better. So anyways, let's get into it. So this first video, I'm not going to talk about any PEDs specifically. Uh, I'm just kind of going to talk about them in general and my own personal opinion on them. I think that's just something very important to kind of lay down right away before I do get into more detailed videos. So I don't want people to get a misconstrued, misconstrued uh, opinion on what I think of them. And, um, you know, because I think that is a common misconception among bodybuilders, um, you know, from the general public looking in that like we're all just a bunch of like gearheads and juice heads and we love taking steroids because it makes us big and jacked and aggressive and strong and bullshit like that. Uh, and that's what it is, it's bullshit. Um, you know, I know, you guys now when I'm speaking from like my experience, I'm kind of speaking from obviously like a high level bodybuilder. I'm a professional bodybuilder now. I've been using PDs for a long time. I've gathered lots of experience with them. I've worked under many, many high level coaches uh, and learned, you know, from them as well as I've been working with a specialist uh, doctor uh, locally who has been supervising my PED use for the last five years. Uh, I've been going over my blood work with me, all that kind of stuff. So I've learned a lot from him as well on how to do this the healthiest way possible. And, you know, since I've been doing that with him, I haven't had any bad blood work or anything. So I like to think I have a pretty good idea of what I'm doing here. Um, but again, not an expert, not, not, claiming to be an expert and I'm certainly not advising anyone to use PEDs uh, that's watching this. I'm just talking about my own experiences with them and my own opinions on them. So back to the main point, what do I think about PEDs? I think, I don't like them personally. I, I take PEDs because I love bodybuilding and they are obviously a key component to that. You cannot be successful as a pro bodybuilder without using them because obviously your competition is going to use them and you're, you're not going to beat someone who's taking PEDs if you're not. Um, so it's something that I do personally because I have to, um, and I think, you know, people don't really understand that, you know, people, like I said, think that, you know, we want to be taking this stuff and the reality is, you know, PDs are not fun. Like it's not fun injecting yourself, you know, three or four times a week. It's not fun taking, uh, oral PDs that have, you know, negative side effects, uh, that you have to deal with as well. Um, you know, the only positive thing that comes from them is the enhanced recovery. And that's, you know, that's all we really get from them. That's, again, a very common misconception that if you just put this stuff in your body, you're just gonna grow muscle. No, they only help you recover. So they only allow you to train harder, eat more food, and, and just get more out of two of those things, essentially, that's, that's what they do. Of course, different PEDs, have different like purposes, but in the grand scheme of things, most of them are derivative from testosterone. So they just have different enhancing effects that testosterone would have basically. Yeah, so essentially if those two things, your training and nutrition aren't on point, then taking PEDs can be pretty pointless and then you can just be harming yourself. Um, you know, like just like anything else, if you're trying to gain muscle, you need to be in a calorie surplus. It needs to be filled with good food. You need to be hitting adequate protein amounts. Um, and same thing, like even if you're taking some type of PED to help you lose fat, like if you're eating in a calorie surplus and trying to take these PED fat burners, they're not going to help you burn fat unless you're actually in a calorie deficit. It's only going to enhance what you're already doing, right? So again, going back to building muscle, you're in a calorie surplus, you're training hard, you're, you're, you have yourself in an environment to build muscle. Bringing in PEDs is just going to enhance that effect. So it's gonna allow you, like I said, to recover faster from your workouts. It's gonna allow you to utilize more food because your protein synthesis is gonna be increased. So you can handle more protein, therefore your body can convert more protein to muscle as long as it's still being stimulated in the gym by hard training. And yes, of course, because your recovery is enhanced, you're gonna get stronger, but you have to make yourself stronger as well. You need to understand that I'm taking this thing 
it's, it's it's enhancing my performance so now i need to go in the gym and push myself harder than i've ever pushed before to get the most out of it and that's where a lot of people go wrong a lot of people take this stuff and think it's going to make up for their lack of hard work and then they don't get anything out of it and then they wonder like oh like this stuff must be crap but it's like no really like you're just crap <laughs> you're just not you know paying your dues and doing what you're supposed to do while you're taking these things that are that again are just there to enhance recovery and allow you to perform at a super physiological level essentially but if you're not going to push yourself you're not going to get anything out of it and that goes back to again you know with, with like the fat burning type pd is that a lot of people i would say those ones are probably used more from a recreational standpoint because people want to get ready for a vacation so they'll start taking some stuff to try to burn more fat but they don't want to diet hard they don't want to do the cardio they don't want to train hard they just take some clam to raw or some T3 and, and keep eating shitty and not working out. And they're wondering like, Oh, like, why isn't this working? Like, this is like a PED, like this is supposed to, you know, work. This is supposed to be strong stuff. But again, like it's only going to enhance what you're doing. So if you're not in a calorie deficit, taking anything like that, you know, it might still help you burn more calories than you normally would have burned. But if you're still taking in more calories than you're burning off in a day, you're still going to keep gaining the fat. You're not going to, you're not going to reach your goal. So yeah, I think that people, you know, if you're going to make that decision, which is a big, big decision because you are messing with the chemistry of your body. Like you got to understand that as soon as you make that decision to start taking PEDs, you're really making a sacrifice and you're putting your body's chemistry at risk. You, you, you know, depending on how you react in your genetics, like I personally know people who have taken PEDs and it has kind of messed them up for life. It's messed up their hormones for life, whether it was just a guy that took some oral dianabol or, or you know did some testosterone injections for any amount of time and then he has to be on testosterone replacement therapy for the rest of his life so he has to take needles for the rest of his life to supplement his testosterone because that one cycle he did shut off his natural production forever and i mean it goes without saying with females too you know females want to take certain stuff to try to progress faster and that's okay that's part of the sport but again like you need to weigh out the risks and the sacrifices and if it's really worth it to you like how far do you want to take this how important is this is this to you you know are you willing to potentially risk your health to reach your bodybuilding goals you know what level are you at like are you just taking all this stuff like are you taking as much peds as a pro bodybuilder just to compete at a regional level show that like you're only placing like you're not even winning like is it worth putting your health on the line for that like these are things you have to ask yourself like you really have to to weigh these things out right because the consequences can be grave um, especially with PED abuse which is something that happens really easily because there's so many like self-proclaimed coaches and gurus that have had only one coach themselves and have done like one show themselves and they did one steroid protocol that was probably trash and uh and that's the only one they know so they pass that knowledge on to their clients and, and that cycle goes on and on and then this is where people run into trouble because they're not taking PEDs based off you know what PEDs they need to use or based off you know their hormone levels where they are because chances are they haven't got blood work done in the first place which is a whole other topic to talk about uh and, and then again they they do this you know hormone protocol you know in their mind they're just taking some supplement because the coach they trust is telling them to put this in their body and it's going to give them the results they want completely disregarding the fact that you're messing with your hormones which is everything to your body it's who you are it's your personality it's your emotion it's your ability to show empathy i mean the list goes on about how how the like what and and how these things can affect you and your body and your personality and and that leads to you know that can it can affect your relationships um of course as well right so you know there is a heavy burden that comes with using peds guys and it's so easily disregarded in society today it blows my mind like people take peds like they're just supplements that they go in the store and buy and again like nutritional supplements are just nutritional supplements they're basically just like derivatives of food right whereas peds are derivatives of testosterone essentially or growth hormone or, or whatever and it's serious stuff like it's like i said it changes you it can change you as a person and i just personally think that's something that's disregarded way too easy so you know like i said before you make that decision um you really need to kind of weigh out like is it worth it for you is it conducive to your goals like is your goal to be a pro bodybuilder to make a career out of it and, and take it all the way if so and, you, and you're ready and mentally prepared to make those sacrifices that come with that then okay more power to you just make sure you do things responsibly get a knowledgeable coach go see your doctor let them know what you're doing get your blood work done make sure that you're healthy enough state to start taking these things so that they're not going to worsen your health 
you know, like I said, mentioned about the blood work earlier, like if you go start a PED cycle and you already have high liver enzymes or, you know, your kidney function isn't great. And then you start taking these things that make that worse because those are the side effects of, of this stuff, guys. Like it's, it, it happens. Like your body has to process these things and, and it can do damage, especially if it's not done properly. I mean, if you're someone, like I said, that has these like kind of bad genetics and you go start using this stuff, like you can put your, you get yourself in real medical trouble, like to the point where you could, you know, go into kidney failure and have to be in dialysis for the rest of your life just because you wanted to do one PD cycle because you wanted to go do a bodybuilding show, right? Like a regional bodybuilding show that no one really cares about. You know, so it's serious stuff. Um, and I'm only talking from a, from a people who want a compete perspective, like a bodybuilding perspective, like people who live the fitness lifestyle. I'm not even talking about, you know, recreational users, like, you know, because we all know there's people that will do PEDs and go drinking every weekend and just take them like for fun because they want to look cool in a bar or something. Like that's a whole other topic I'm not even going to touch on because it's, it's actually that ridiculous in my mind that, that people do that and that goes on. Um, you know, we'll keep it on like the, the athlete topic, but even so, you, you guys can kind of get an idea of kind of how I feel about PEDs, uh, you know, just from, I guess, how I'm talking, you know, because I'm, like I said, I'm talking about people who are, like, in the industry, like, understand the sport, like, have I been lifting for a bit, like, have them, like, understand diet and things like that, like, even for, you know, if you're in that group, like, still going this route is a completely different thing, it changes everything, right? That's why they call it going to the dark side, because it, 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 it really is, like I said, a lot comes with this. And it just can't be disregarded, guys. So, you know, just wanted to make this video real quick, get it out there, give you guys a good idea about kind of where my stance lies on PEDs. So, you know, we'll kind of conclude it with this. Like, PEDs in my mind are for bodybuilders, you know, or athletes in general, per se. Um, they're there to enhance recovery so that you can get the most out of your physique and push yourself to your maximum potential. They allow us to recover from strenuous workouts and they allow us to utilize astronomical amounts of food to build our physiques to what we want them to be so that we can go be competitive at a very high level in physique sports. Like that, in my mind, is what PEDs are for. Um, you know, using them for any other reason, um, you know, obviously with the exception of like, you know, they have some, if you're trying to have like a kid or something like that you might need to take whatever to, to help do that like there's there's different situations obviously and, and you know just guys on hormonal replacement therapy as you age your te natural testosterone lowers you might have to supplement with testosterone completely different thing like there's medical uses for this stuff obviously as well but i mean from a point of like i want to take peds to enhance my physique you know everything i stated in this video needs to be taken into consideration you know like it's a big step and you know, if you want to go that route, you got to be serious about it. You got to be willing to take on everything else that comes with it. And that, that is taking the health supplements to keep yourself healthy. Like I said, going to your doctor, getting your blood work done. Um, you know, you got to be prepared because you're taking on a whole nother lifestyle when you go that route. So just want to put that video out there, guys, a bit of a more serious topic. Uh, but like I said, this is kind of an introductory to me talking about more specific PDs and my experience with them, how they affected me and, and things like that. So Hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, drop a like, um, drop a comment below, guys. Let me know if there's any other topics you want me to touch on. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please help me out a lot. So thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you on the next one.